Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? I'm going to try to go blazing fast with Google Meet here because, let's be honest, you already know how to use Zoom. You might even be saying, why would I switch to another one? Well, there's some awesome features on here. And it's not going to be that big of a learning curve if you do switch because if you already know what you're doing with Zoom, hey, it's not that much different. So let's check it out. First, you could go to your waffle up here and you could just go to Meets and simply join or start a meeting. You just type in anything so it makes it super easy. So, you know, if I just want to use my last name or something, it makes it super easy to go ahead and start a meeting. But even easier than that is it's right in your Google Classroom, right up in your banner. If it's not turned on, you go to your settings up there and right here, visible to students, right there. And you could even reset it if you want to. But the great thing is, is it's always there. The kids know how to find it. It doesn't change or anything. They could just straight click on it and it'll open a meeting. It's ready. And check this out. Did you see that blur right there? That background blur quality. One of the new features right there. And check it out. You could turn it on before your meeting even starts. So if you're embarrassed about your background, your students don't want, you know, to show off their room for whatever reason, it's right there. Plus, dude, it looks cool. So we're all set. Look at join now here. Now, you're going to see some cool things going on as we go. Now you see the badge right there in the corner. So that's, of course, quality for you. Let me move mine so we can see here. So you got your badge in the corner. And there's a lot of different ways to do the settings as we go. So easy is just right here on the side. Now let's just jam through everything. Google always likes to show you things more than one place. So no matter what, you're going to be able to find those settings. But turn on and off that blur just immediately right there. Super easy. Now, another quality thing to help out with how things look is go to your settings and check it out video now you could make it high definition for sending your video or receiving your video and then now it looks more clear than it did before which is super awesome so now you could look better on your videos considerable difference i mean i don't know how it shows up for you guys but considerable difference on how much better it looks especially for seeing other people and the good news is what if you have a bad connection you could lower that quality down in half and then you know have a better connection going on host controls right here when turned off only people invited can join without asking so you'd obviously want that you know turned on in your class right everyone else you know people can't join anonymously only hosts can dial out of meeting so great settings right there share their screen you could not let your students share their screen. You could not let your students do the chat room. So now, you know, just you could have the sharing screen and then not worry about chat if you don't want to. So that's quality as well. Now you see the badge right here. So that means you're the host, you're in charge. So now you know. Again, just immediately right there. So you could turn on and off that sharing screen. So if a student needs to share it, you could turn it on turn it back off right away. View all host settings. It goes back right to where we were one more time again. <coughs> Super easy. Those meeting details if you need them. But again, if you were in Google Classroom, it's already there. Now let's go back here. Record meeting. Obviously, super easy. Full screen. That's normal. Captions. Normal. All good stuff. But check it out. Change your layout. Now you could have your max amount of tiles all the way up to 49. So good thing we don't have that many students, right? I mean, we love them, but that is a bit, a lot of students there, 49. So now you could have up to 49 on your grid. You'll be able to see your whole class or just pick whatever you want so it'll work. Maybe you want, you know, just 16 or something, but it's right there. Again, very easy. Everything's good. And one of my favorite things is right here, Jamboard. We'll get to it in a second because I want to show you up here again. Once again, you click on chat, and again, you could turn on or off chat just right there, just super easy. And again, host controls. So no matter where you go, it's easy to find those settings. Not like on Zoom sometimes where you're like, uh, and you can't remember it, and you're freaking out because something's happening in class, right? So here it seems like they're everywhere you want to be. So before we get to that awesome Jamboard right there, 
let's just look at all these new updates. Background blur, we saw it. Layouts, we saw it up to 49 kids. Locking the screen, locking the chat. And now, knock block what they call it, pretty cool. So if you kick someone out of your meeting, then they can't knock anymore. Knock means like, hey, you know, someone wants in the meeting, they're not allowed to do that anymore. So it won't be bothering you and popping up on your screen. If someone tries to get in your meeting and they've asked twice and you've denied them twice, they can't just keep on asking. So again, that's not gonna be bothering you in your meeting. You could have it turned on like we just talked about where people do have to ask to get in the meeting, that's called knocking. And you saw all those quick access controls, super easy. So we're not really going to go into Jamboard right now, but watch one of my other videos where it explains Jamboard because it's very awesome. So check it out. I can start a new one or open up a Jamboard I already have. Here I'm going to start a new one. The best part is, is I just started here. I didn't have to have it made already. It automatically has it and saves it. It saves it as the name of my meeting. So if I named my meeting something you know, that was like special for a club or whatever, right? Like esports, then the jam board would be called that. It has the date in there so I could find it super easy. And it shares it with the students just right in the chat. Like that's how they'll be able to get it and see. It just automatically shared that jam board with them. So they'll be able to see that jam board and then they'll all be able to work on it at the same time which is great, it's right there. They're not going somewhere else, finding us and look for it in your Google Classroom. All right, video was longer than I wanted, but meets are pretty amazing. See you guys later, have a good night.